Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Mateo, owner of Boxer. I got a very special guest today. One of the best fighters of all time. Two times ex-former world champion, welterweight, and Olympic ex-gold medalist. One of the best, Andre Berto. Yo, 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 yo my good, bro. God. Let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. Have a seat, bro. Hey, have a seat, have a seat. Good being here, good being here. Bro, tell us, <laughs> how's it feel to be in this gym in Boxer? Tell him. Man, the gym is crazy. Yeah? I mean, of course, um, you know, you, I mean, like, when I came, you walked me through it. I pretty much has everything that we need. I mean, got the vibe, as you can see. Uh, we got the fitness area, we got the boxing bags. We got the yoga situation upstairs, and we got a recovery room. Everything under one roof. I mean, you can't beat it. Especially if, I mean, like I say, when it comes to us being fighters, we want to be able to have everything close that we can, especially if we're dealing with a training camp. Of course. We don't like driving around, being in all these different places, but everything is under one roof, man, and the shit looks good. It's amazing, bro. Look, I'm, I'm very honored to have you here today, sure. you know, and, um, there's a lot of people in Miami, especially, you know, a lot of members, a lot of supporters in the boxing game. You know, as you can see, you know, a lot of, a lot of work, blood, sweat and tears has been put into this. And as an ex-fighter, you know, you put, you put that work, blood, sweat and tears. All so, right, yeah. you know, like, what's something that you could tell to the people, yeah. the people of Miami, people around the world about what does it really take to put in that real hard work to be able to get to the top, you know? Tell them. Man, it takes, um, it takes a lot of you know, dedication. It takes a lot of sacrifice. Yeah. Um, um, it takes a lot of commitment. Because a lot of people feel that they can do this because they see guys like us that put in 20 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but uh, you know, but as soon as they come in, they get a you know, week or two in, and they feel how punishing it can be, you know, so they quit. You understand? So you have to have a different type of commitment to this game. You understand? I mean, like you're literally training your body to reach a point that it hasn't ever reached before. And to be able to step into a ring with another man that's been training to, you know, try to you know, pretty much kill you, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. for the last 10 weeks. I mean, there's nothing like it. And you're going to be able to do that shit in front of millions of people. Yeah, bro. Your team walks into the ring and they're going to walk the fuck out. You know what I mean? I know so what you mean. Doing him. So it's a completely different feeling, man. You got to be a different type of person, different type of mentality yeah, to make sure. it happen. Now, growing up, you know, as far as a little bit of background on your story, yeah. you know, and, and being born into the boxing game, yeah. um, what, what triggered you off yeah. to say to yourself, I could be the best? You know, yeah. like what, may, what, what, what was it that triggered your mind to yeah. be able to be like, I'm going to be the best? Yeah. I mean, um, of course, me and just a lot of people that, yeah, I mean, I know my story. Yeah. And I come from, uh, you know, two immigrant, you know, parents from Haiti. Yeah. Um, and I always seen the way they work. Um, my father was like the general, you know, man, our household, you know, heavy discipline. You understand I me? Mean? So everything that we did, we did it with discipline. Yeah. And, um, and just with him, you know, he was in the mixed martial arts you know, at a very young age. I think he fought in like, the UFC three years, some shit oh, wow. like that. So, you know, like the mixed martial arts was, uh, I mean, it was heavy into our household as well. So to be able to go watch him train in a lot of different disciplines, you know, especially being in the mixed martial arts, I seen him doing, you know, boxing to, you know, judo to, to, to you know, any type of other, you know, fighting discipline. So, um, you know, he took me to the boxing gym one day with him. And then I told him, okay, you know, I'm a tough kid. You know, I know I can make it happen. And they put me in the ring with some fat little kid. And this fat kid just beat the hell out of me. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, and I didn't understand it because I was stronger and, you know, I was faster. But he had the technique that I didn't have. And that kind of just blew my mind on, on really wondering, you know, how he made that happen. Yeah, yeah. So ever since then, man, I was just fully committed. And I was focused on trying to understand and try to see how I can turn my power and my speed you know into some type of skill that i'll be able to dominate somebody and that shit just and i was able to just take it to a whole nother level yeah yeah, yeah. and now when you did that as a kid yeah were your eyes set on the olympic games or was it more so that you were just you know as you were progressing forward yeah. it was more like 
you were just, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna just keep boxing yeah. and see what happens. Nah, man, I was, um, did I have big dreams, you know, early. And plus everybody in the household, they were fighters. Of course, my dad was a fighter. My brothers and my sisters were fighters. My sisters, they were judo champions, you know, yeah. were national champions. My brothers, they were in mixed martial arts. And I had another brother that was the national wrestling champion. So it was a lot of competition in the household. So, you know, I was hungry. Yeah. Just all the time, everything that we dealt with within the house was always competition. So it was a never trying to be lackluster with everything. If I wanted to box, you know what I mean? I was going to try to be the best at it. And my dad wanted to make sure that I did. So he would wake me up at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning to go hit that road and go running. And he was right behind in that car following me. Yeah. This was when I was 7, 8 years old. So I understood what discipline was, I understood what commitment was. And since I was putting my body through all of that punishment, you know, I knew I had to get a reward for it. Of course, of course. And, and, uh, and you know, so I always set my sight on that big reward of going to the Olympic Games. Yeah, and being world champion. And being world champion. That's it, that's all I wanted. I wanted, Yo. I wanted the titles, baby. Tell you us, know, tell, bro, come on, like, Bro, this fight is all around the world that yeah. dream to be, you know, in the position that you experience, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Like, that's a dream come true to most fighters. Even as an ex-fighter, bro, like, it was a dream of mine, you know? Yeah. And, 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 and there's only very few that have that opportunity to, sure. to get there or to get that opportunity. Yeah, man. Um, otherwise, after boxing, what next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You get injured, you out. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You get mucked around by promoters and, and you know people in the boxing game, you out, and you just give up. A lot of fighters go through it. Yeah, but man, I mean this game is 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 you know it's tough, man. It's a tough game. Yeah. Um, I'm mean, something that you have to, like I said before, you know, commit yourself to and plan out as much as you can, because I believe one of the reasons why you know my route. You know, went the way that it went. Of course, me coming from a small town, Central Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, you know, I mean, that level of success it wasn't meant for me. Yeah. But you know, I understood. You know, where I came from, I understood my environment. I understood. You know, I had to work ten times as hard to be noticed. You understand? So I put in all the work. When I went to state tournaments, I tried to dominate state tournaments. Yeah, bro. You have to dominate in a way that. Your name is just ringing bells to a point of people asking, who the hell is that? I made it to regionals, the national tournaments, and I knew I just couldn't just compete. Yeah. I had to dominate. You had to dominate that shit, bro. Dominate yeah. it to the point that people continue to ask, who is that, who is that, who is that? And I knew that was going to be the only way you that make. I stood out. Yeah. That's the only way. The only way promoters, managers... Uh, the only way that I didn't have to go through that circus of all the bullshit, which I used to see all the time when it comes to other pros, I had to dominate and I had to be the first priority for these managers and promoters. You had to be a freak. You had to be. Yeah. But in turn, man, you got to put in the work. You got to yeah. be dedicated with this shit. There's a yeah. lot of other fighters out there, man. They, shit, they're training hard, too. They're, you know what I mean? But like, there's more than that, bro, work. right? You got to yeah. want to just get it. You have to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... Like I said, you know how the game is. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. What I mean? But I, you know what, bro? Like, we're talking about, you know, there's so many fighters that train, 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 yeah. but there's so many different aspects to being a fighter yeah. rather than just training and yeah, just sparring, yeah. getting the fights. Yeah, yeah. It's obviously, you know, orchestrating and making sure that you're put on the right path. Yeah. Otherwise, it can be a waste of time. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, I'm saying, I think, I think a lot of guys need to need to, uh, you know, be smart and plan, you know, uh, I mean, when it comes to their careers. And one thing that I did, to be honest, yeah. um, you know, when I seen where everything was heading for me, you know, as an amateur and being able to get to the Olympics, I sat home and I planned, I planned everything. I was getting calls from, you know, all the big, uh, you know, networks, from HBO, Showtime, from all the managers, all the top promoters, and, I really sat down and planned where I wanted to go. Yeah. I knew what manager I wanted to go to. I knew which promoter I wanted. I knew what network I wanted to be yeah. on. Okay, now how am I going to, uh, uh, you know, just try to make sure I make this step happen. I got to sit in these meetings, but I already know what I want, and I have to try to plan it out. So make sure that you kind of, you have to try to plan your career 
you know, when it comes to this fight shit. If you don't, if you have no clue, these managers and promoters are going to be able to do they whatever they you. want. They're going to eat you up alive. Eat you up alive. So, yeah. you know, you got to have a plan. Got you. For sure. What's, what's one of the most magical moments in your boxing career, bro? The most, most memorable moment. Man. That, um, that, that made you feel like, yo, after all these years, yeah. you know. Um, um, I, I mean, of course, man, I think, you know, it has to be, uh, well, I got two, of course, you know, Pinnacle. I was winning my first world title. Um, you know, just being a young kid, it's always, you know, had a dream of just being able to fight on that main stage, you know, on HBO. Yeah, bro. You know, with all the so. lights and cameras on you, and you'll be able to, um, and to be able to get in there and just win my first world title, man, in front of the world, and, and, and just prove, you know, not just to other people, just to myself, you know, I know how great I felt I was. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, that was tremendous for me, man. That was, a, uh, that was a big check off the list. And of course, you know, to be on the biggest stage in boxing at the time, you know, being able to fight Floyd, um, you know, Mayweather, and just fighting on that huge pay-per-view card, and, you know, just being part of that big, huge pay-per-view event, just being a kid that's from nothing, man, and from being nothing. able to be watched, Nothing. You know, around the world, you know what I'm saying? Like, from nothing, bro. From nothing, bro. So it was, uh, you know, that was pretty crazy. That That's was great, bro. Sick, yeah. Now, as as of now, like, you know, retired and everything. Not officially retired. Yet. Okay, okay, not officially not retired. Officially I'm retired sorry. Yet. We're about to see. They keep calling, but they try to get me back. All right, all right. We're going to see. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is your plan now? Like, yeah. You're a businessman now, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, you're making, you know, the necessary adjustments in your sure. life. And, and obviously, you know, boxing keeps you there, you know what I mean? Oh, for sure. Um, from boxing and, and the discipline aspect and the focus aspect for so many years, yeah. tell the people, do you still apply that same work ethic in your business and in your everyday life? Of course, of course, of course. I think, um, I think that's where a lot of, um, you know, fighters, even athletes, you know what I mean? They fall short. Yeah. You know I mean? They need to understand that they have a gift. The same gift that they had to be a world boxing champion, to be, you know, an NFL player, NBA player, yeah. that carries on throughout your life. Don't feel like your life is over because you left your identity in that sport. Yeah. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you can use that just to apply it just to life in general. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I apply that to all of my businesses. You know, I apply that, just me being a father, me just being a man, you know, just in life, period. Yeah. And they need to understand something like, we, like we literally have an advantage. We literally have an advantage with that. Yeah. And I understand the transition, you know, it's tough and it's hard at times, but it's a rinse and repeat situation. You know, you need to understand, you need to want to be, you know, a student again and learn something else. Yeah. And the same way you focus on that sport, you're focusing that business the same type of way. You know what I mean? Get committed. You know, hire a good team to come around you, uh, your coach and a mentor as well, and you go out there and dominate. It's risk and repeat. 100%. That's it. 100%. You know I mean? Now, I'm going to get back to the question. What's your plan next? <laughs> man, uh, man, I got a lot of shit going on. I got, of course, um, man, I got tons of, uh, you know, real estate. I got, I may be... I mean, like I said, they've been, they've been calling me a lot. So, you know, you may see me in there probably maybe one, maybe twice, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> um, you know, but I got a lot of big projects coming up, man, that's dropping here soon in the next month or so. You know, um, I can't really, you know, speak on them yet, you know, until they finalize. But, um, you know, things that I'm, I mean, that's, that's definitely going to make me a lot, uh, you know, really excited about. And to be able to help, you know, a lot of guys to be able to see me and to be able to be inspired and just know that, okay, we can make that transition, do something else that's dope. Yeah, of and course. And do something else that's just as successful. Got gotcha. you. Know now, something that, you know, members of this facility, yep. young generation, you know, coming from a status of where you're at and, and who you are, yep. what's something that you could tell the younger generation yeah. On valuable things and, val and 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 just core values of what they can do to be on track because we know that these days you know with social media and and, and they get they get drifted. Oh, for sure. 
and it, and it doesn't have to just to do with boxing, but just yeah. in life just general. In life in you general. know what I mean? Because I know you're genuine, bro. Like, yeah, for sure. ever since you, you know, you came here, you showed love, and I can see that. So I think something like that, telling the people, yeah, coming from you, they're gonna admire and appreciate it. I mean, of course, I think um, the main thing to do, and maybe the hardest thing to do, um, is to try to stay focused. Um, to be, we, like, to be able to try to choose the area and just stay focused and dialed in at that and put in, you know, 100%. Because especially, you know, when it comes to social media, yeah. you know, right now, there's distractions everywhere. Yeah, bro, yeah. You know, I mean, these kids are putting, you know, 10% here, 10% here, 10% here, just to see, you know, what's gonna happen. Which is great when you, like I say, when you're young, yeah. you're trying to figure shit out, it's always good. But, you know, I think the main thing to do is just stay focused, man, and whatever you're trying to, you know, do and just try to accomplish, man. Just try to dial all the way in and try to put everything into that one thing if you can. Amazing, bro, yeah. amazing, amazing. That's, uh, so, bro, shit. I'm, I'm so grateful. Appreciate I'm appreciative, it. bro, that yeah. you know you you've been able to come to the facility. Definitely, man. You come on this crazy. podcast, and um, you know, uh, having someone like you to be able to tell the people on on what they can do to better their lives. Definitely. You know, that, that that's amazing. You know, Definitely. words of wisdom from a, from an ex champ. You know what I mean? Hey, so hey. I appreciate you coming in today, bro. Man, it's just dope, man. Yo, I'm he. I'm gonna make sure he gets some work in today in the gym. He got, he got, he got to start kicking it in. He got to start training. You know what I mean? This is, this is new home in Miami. You know what I mean? Doors are always welcome. You know, check him out. Check his Instagram out. He's gonna be dropping videos. Oh, for sure. Over the next couple of weeks, maybe over the next month, and 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 learn from this man. You know what I mean? He's an icon in the game. Facts. All right. So until next time, we're here at Boxer. Boom. I am Boxer. I rep that.